All right, so uh, it'll seem a little upside down. Why don't I do this then? That way I don't have to try to re-edit the video. Uh, the camera's flipped over and mounted to my light fixture above so you can see down inside here. What I'm looking to do is uh, uh, put the outer race into the, uh, the hub here, okay? And uh, basically I'm just going to combine the videos. So I'm not going to re-explain everything. Uh, so this is a this is a bearing race seal driver. Uh, works great for uh, seals as well. Okay, when you use the seal side you know, seal, you put it on uh, this side. Uh, I don't have a seal there, but basically that goes over it. Okay, so what we're looking for here is the one that fits this race the best. All right, look at that. Okay, I'm not hitting the bearing surface inside here. I'm riding on the lip, that shoulder on the outside there. That's perfect. And this is small enough that it goes down inside. So I'm not going to uh, get to wedge this in and, and mess up the edges there too. So that is the perfect size uh, for that. Okay. So we've got a handle here with a screw on the end. We're going to put that on, put the screw on. Okay. Set the uh, race in there. Try to get it. Uh, somewhat straight okay it's it's leaning a little there so i'm gonna kind of lean it this way a little bit and tap on that edge there to try to get it to uh... now i don't have a huge hammer i've got a bigger one sitting here if i need it uh so these are cheap sets okay this is a performance tool you could probably pick that up at any local uh car parts store now if you're very careful and you have a good drift preferably a brass you can go in here and and tap it in like this I really, really don't recommend it because you can very easily put a, uh, a dent or a wow in the uh, bearing surface. The top edge there would not be good. So just spend the 10, 12 bucks, whatever it is for these things, and uh, uh, use that. So anyway, back to it. Uh, basically, we're just going to tap it down in with a hammer. You'll hear the sound change when it bottoms out against that shelf. Last three hits got nice and solid okay so I just want to make sure that it's down against there all the way it is I look in the back there make sure that uh, nothing looks weird or cattywampus and uh, let's put the, uh, the other one in so same thing I'm gonna take out my new bearing okay all I need is the race Make sure that there isn't any uh, big chunks of garbage on there coming straight out of the package. There better not be. I'm going to put it back in the plastic bag, set it back aside, because I don't want that thing to get dirty. So now this obviously will not work. So let's pick a different. And if I had the other bearings, I could just, you know, do the other hub now with the smaller one. Uh, trying to get the most bang for the buck here and show both. So that one didn't fit. All right, there we go. It fits. It's not quite as tight as the other one, but we're still on the shelf. We still look good. If I go up to this one, ooh, there we go. That's perfect. That's perfect. We're not riding on the bearing surface. There's just a tiny bit of play there. That's exactly the one we want. The other one probably would have worked, but we would have uh, probably buggered up the uh, shoulder a little bit. So you also want to go in here with a clean rag. All right. And make sure you get all the way down into the the shoulder there. You know the. Make sure you don't have any burrs when you hammered it out. Make sure you didn't create any big old uh, uh, burrs or piece, you know parts sticking out or whatever. Uh, that's going to make it harder to put the race back in. You know because as the drift is driving in there, if you rippled or messed up the edge there. Uh, might cause a bit of a challenge for the uh, race to go back in. Sometimes you'll find too that the last guy who put seals in, he hammered them in with a hammer and he buggered up this edge here. You may have to uh, clean that up a bit and, and uh, make that work. Now it seems to be leaning that way just a little bit. A couple of light taps and it kind of pretty much centers itself down there. So 
I'm also making sure I'm using downward force here. One, just to deaden it so this thing doesn't bounce around, makes it quieter. Well, you hear that, those last two? Big difference. Okay. Um, and part of technique wise, if you notice, I, I bounced on the head. That was just purely for aim. If you come up here and just, you know, hey, if you drive uh, nails for a living, uh, great. You can, you can hammer better than I can, but uh, I don't. So I let it bounce once to keep the aim. Uh, that's uh, basically the point of uh, the bounce. So that's in. This hub can get set aside. And this one could get done. So, uh, I don't see any reason to uh, keep the video going at this point. I have a tendency to make them uh, way too long.